The Cornwall and Area Chamber of Commerce has launched a brand new web hub to support local business and help you shop local. Joining me now is the Chamber uh, Executive Director, Greg Petersma. Welcome, Greg. Uh, thank you. All right, so let's talk first of all about the web hub, and I know this has been in development for quite a few weeks now. Let's talk about how it all got started. Well, it kind of got started uh, when we were uh, thinking about how we can move to the next phase of helping support businesses during the uh, pandemic. And so the, the idea came that there were uh, a lot of businesses that were open and able to conduct some sort of business, whether it was delivery or curbside or shipping or whatever. And uh, But people were having a hard time trying to connect with them. And so we thought, well, we'll list those businesses and explain to people how they can um, connect with them, buy from them. Um, so that was sort of the beginning of the idea. But then it kind of went further when we started to look at some of the businesses. We realized that many of them didn't have the capacity to even transact business online or that it was difficult or clumsy. So we thought that we would add also an additional feature where we would work with businesses to help them set up um, e-commerce sites and we've also been helping them with social media, helping them with ad campaigns and uh, improving their business descriptions and things like that. So it's sort of a, a complete package that we put together to try to not only connect consumers with open businesses, but also to uh, build out the capacity of businesses to operate in uh, the pandemic. And before we delve a little bit more into the website itself, uh, I just want to touch on something you said in terms of these businesses that adapted uh, in terms of how they're offering their services. Uh, it's certainly admirable how quickly they did adapt and evolve. So let's just talk about the resiliency that we've seen in our local businesses. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are many businesses who have, um, you know, taken some really uh, creative approaches to, to developing business. Uh, Matt Coleman runs a, a, a a repair shop, cell phone, mobile shop on uh, Pitt Street. And he pivoted and started to uh, develop um, ways to uh, help parents repurpose old devices to help them deal with the online learning that was coming on. And, uh, you know, so that's an example of somebody who has really has looked at the problem um, and developed a solution that not only helped out customers, but helped him out and keep his business operational. So, you know, that's just one example, but uh, a lot of businesses have, have adapted and moved themselves online so that uh, customers can um, connect with them. Happy Popcorn is one like that. They move very quickly, got online. And uh, I know there's a lot of very happy uh, people in Cornwall uh, because they can get their... Uh, a happy popcorn fix. Absolutely. And uh, so on that note, let's talk about how that affects the bottom line. Uh, when we first spoke to you as this pandemic was just beginning, uh, there were some pretty grim numbers. So is there, uh, are these things looking up a little bit in terms of the number of businesses that are, have been able to adapt and survive? I think that the, the whole range of federal programs have come in and at least helped offer some stability. Now there are still businesses that are suffering. And um, so there, there, there still is a huge issue out there, uh, but uh, businesses that can um, adapt, I think, uh, should, and we're definitely there to help them with that. So I think that it's it's probably a, a little bit brighter uh, future now uh, than maybe what we th uh, saw five weeks ago or four weeks ago. Um, However, we still are aware that there are a number of businesses that face very, very serious challenges and uh, we continue to try to work to try to figure out how to help them too. And one way, of course, that everybody can help is by supporting these businesses using the web hub. So why don't you tell me a little bit more about the website and how it works? Yeah, so the, the website, uh, businesses can register and we are not just open to uh, chamber businesses at this point, any business in uh, Cornwall, SDNG and Aquasasne can register, get a listing. And uh, we're gonna be opening up um, uh, some other features. So we're, we're gonna create a mailing list so that uh, people can get uh, uh, offers and, and receive information about uh, some of the services that the businesses are, are operating. We're also working with uh, the city of Cornwall to establish a 
uh, a mapping so that people can see where where businesses are and in relation to them uh, so that they can contact the most local one. Um, we're also backing the whole program up with a substantial amount of advertising to make sure that people uh, get to the site and we've had really terrific traffic numbers. We're really pleased with uh, the results there. Uh, so, um, you know, while this is this project came out of the pandemic, we see this as a, a significant project going forward um, and working with a wide variety of, of partners in order to promote shopping local and ensure that any consumer that wants to buy something local can quickly find that service or product. And just before we end, uh, Greg, you just mentioned the variety, and I just want to touch on that because there is a tremendous variety of, of different uh, sectors represented on the website right now. Yes, and you know, so the biggest one is food. I mean, you know, like that, that's a logical one. Everybody um, gets a little tired of, of their own cooking and wants to, to get something else in just to add a little variety. So that, that's a big category. Um, but there are some other interesting categories that we're going to be expanding on and promoting, one being financial services. You know, it's tax time and there are a lot of financial questions that, that individuals are looking at. And, you know, so we're going to be promoting that. We're also going to be promoting uh, legal services. This is a great time to, to make sure that your affairs are in order. And, and uh, there are lots of legal, the uh, legal firms have adapted to, to dealing virtually. And so we'll be uh, taking the time to uh, push out and, and advertise those services. And over the coming weeks, we'll be uh, working on adding other services and uh, promoting other products as we go forward. That's excellent. And on that note, Greg, I'd like to thank you once again for joining me. And uh, hopefully our viewers will uh, check out the website and support all our local businesses that are represented there. Yeah, we ask everybody to uh, visit Cornwall, uh, shopcornwallandarea.ca. And uh, when we have the registration up, we've got a great prize. Uh, if you uh, register uh, your email address, uh, you'll have a chance to win a week's worth of meals from one of our local companies, uh, Birchwood Cafe. So I encourage everybody to check out the website and, and register when we get that up. Excellent, thank you once again, Greg. Take care, thank you.